uh, let us look at these examples of simplifying rational expression. So the question is simplify fully and you want to write as a single term. So you've got x over x plus 2 minus x over 2x plus 4. So this is called a rational expression. So when you're simplifying rational expression, you do the same thing as you used to do when you're simplifying fractions. So I'll give an example to illustrate what I mean. Suppose you had, suppose, 1 half minus, say, 1 eighth. Okay. Now if you want to simplify this, you can do in different ways. I like to simplify fractions by making the denominators equal. So that I can say this 2 can be made into an 8. Okay. So the next step, 1 half is how many 8 eight is 4 eighths. Okay. And this is nothing but 1 eighths. So you've got 4 eighths, take away 1 eighths is 3 eighths is the answer. So this is, I believe, one of a very good way of simplifying fractions. So here again you do the same thing. How can I make the denominators equal? So I'm going to do one step. This is x times, I could have over x plus 2 times something. Okay, so let me delete this now. I don't want this. Okay, so plus minus again x times something over 2x plus 4 times something. So I want to make the denominators equal, so I'm going to use a different color. So I can see an x plus 2 here and a 2x plus 4 here. So, well, I'm asking what if I multiply this x plus 2 with 2x plus 4. So, if I multiply the denominator, the numerator has also to be multiplied with the same thing. So, basically what we have done is, we have multiplied the numerator and denominator with 2x plus 4. Basically what we have done is, we haven't done anything. This, this and this are the same. So, now both now this has x plus 2 times x plus 2x plus 4 so well i'm asking what if i multiply this with x plus 2 so if i multiply this with x plus 2 i have to also multiply this with x plus 2. same logic i haven't done anything to this this and this are the same so let me use a neutral color okay so now this has changed to x times 2x plus 4 over, I'll leave this as it is, x plus 2 times 2x plus 4 minus x times x plus 2. I'm basically re rewriting the same thing to show you that the denominators are equal. Now the numer denominators are equal, you can simplify the numerator. This is where most of you can do wrong. So I will do like this. This is still are not open. This is 2x plus 4 minus x times x plus 2 over this huge denominator or denominator x plus 2 times 2x plus 4. Now I'll open the numerator. So or simplify the numerator, this is 2x squared plus 4x. This is minus x times x is minus x squared. And minus x times 2, this is where most of you can do wrong. You will write plus 2x, okay? Whereas this should be minus 2x over this whole thing, x plus 2 times 2x plus 4. So now to simplify the numerator, so 2x squared minus x squared is x squared plus now 4x minus 4x minus 2x is plus 2x. Am I right? Over. I've got an example sitting here, so I'll have to drag that down. Okay. So let me drag this down. 
So this is over this whole thing, which is x plus 2 times 2x plus 4. Now what can you factor out, uh, factor out in the numerator? So you can factor out an x. So you've got x times x plus 2 over x plus 2 times 2x plus 4. Let me close the bracket. So now you can see something which can be cancelled. You've got x plus 2 here and x plus 2 here. Now this is one of the mistakes that students do in when you're simplifying rational expression. You can't cancel these two x's. Okay. Uh, it is because, suppose, to explain that, if you have, suppose let me take x as 5 over 5 plus 2. Okay, so can you cancel this phi and phi? Okay, if you can cancel, life would have been so easy. You cannot cancel, you should write this as 5 over 7. Okay, but suppose you can cancel. Okay, suppose let us see, let us presume that you can cancel. So, what happens if you cancel this? What remains? This is this is something wrong that I'm doing. This is 1 over 1 plus 2 which is 1 over 3. And this is absolutely wrong. So you should not cancel. This is very tempting to cancel like this. So I have seen students canceling like this, which is absolutely wrong. You can't cancel until you are you have written in this form. This you've got x plus 2 and x plus 2. And then you can cancel. OK, so you can cancel this. The ultimate answer is x over 2x plus 4 is the final answer. Okay, so <clears throat> now let me do one more example. Okay, this is basically the same thing. I want to make the denominators equal. So I'm going to write this like this. x plus 3 over 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. I made this, a multiple of this and this in the denominator, the same thing. I'm going to write 3 times 2 over 2 times x plus 2. So basically, if you look carefully, this and this gets cancelled. So what is remaining is x plus 3 over 2. And 2 and 2 gets cancelled, so what remains is 3 over x plus 2. But by doing this, what has happened is the denominators are equal. So, this is nothing but x plus 2, so let me write in an order, x plus 2 times x plus 3 plus 6 over 2 times x plus 2. So, let me expand the bracket. So, this is x squared plus x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x plus 2 times x is 2x plus 6, plus 6, you've got this 6 sitting there, over 2 times x plus 2. So this simplifying further, this is x squared plus 5x plus 12 over 2 times x plus 2. Can you factorize this? Can you find two factors of 12 which gives you 5? Uh, you can't factorize this any further. 4 and 3 gives you 12, but that gives you 7. 6 and 2 gives you 12, but that gives you 8. Okay, so this is your final answer. Okay, see you in the next video.